My name is Michael Manis. I was born in Mesanagros Roads, Todekanisos. I was born in 1936, which makes me 85 years old. My parents was Simeon and Flora Manis. My father was came to Australia in 1938. Before that, he was in Argentina for eight years. He came, got married, stayed there. He had two children, and then he came over in 1938 here in Brisbane. We came to Australia with my mother and sister in 1948. I was 11 and a half years old. We came by boat to Fremantle. From Fremantle, we flew to Brisbane. The boat was a Greek boat. It was a very small boat. And the name was Komninos. Oh, we're taking over a month. It was, it was very rough. The, <laughs> when we were in the middle of the ocean, it was going up and down, up and down. And the ladies were getting uh, very sick with, uh, with the waves. And they always sent me to the kitchen to get some lemon for them <laughs> so they can drink the juice that the one sort of bring up. And we came to, to Brisbane. My father had a rent at a half a house here in West End, in Bissane Street, uh, near the church. And um, we lived there for a few years. Um, then he bought uh, a house still in West End again. He, he had a shop in West End. He was a shoemaker. Well, I don't think he was speaking English. He went up to Bill Oila. They were uh, cutting cane and bush and all that. He spent a probably 10 years up there in Biloila, Angul. Oh, well, I was young, I couldn't speak English, and you know, uh, it was really, really, really strange, but my uncle, one of my uncles, uh, took me to the West End Thatch School, to start school. I was 11 and a half years old, and, and at that time, <laughs> there was a prep grade, prep, prep grades and they put us in <laughs> in prep one. <laughs> oh well you yeah, know because we were we were new Australians so sort I think some of the others were having a go at us or you know you know a few words sort of thing you know but uh, you know that time passed it changed but uh, I was in the prep one for a few months then we, we went up because we knew from from Greece I was in a in a higher grade, so we went up to grade three straight away. And I finished school. I didn't go to stay high school, but I finished the um, grade six at that time. After I went to school, I went and had a test for to see where I'm leaning as a trade. I was I started as a Carpenter. My trade is a carpenter and joiner. I went to the uh, Central Technical College in George Street for five years, and I was also working for these people for for five years. I was, I was an apprentice. I was involved in everything: house building, on um, buildings in uh, in the city, uh, high rise and also uh, renovations sometimes. But, uh, after that, I was old enough and uh, I had to go to the army. I did my national service back in 1956. We did three years straight at Waco for the national service then you had to finish it at uh, CMF, Citizens Military Forces. 
I st stayed there for another couple of years, I think. I finished 1959. I was in the national, I was in the small ship squadron after that, on that, at uh, Carmsley. I, um, 1959, I met my, uh, my wife through uh, friends and, uh, you know, relatives. They, they knew the, the, the family before. Got introduced. I got married in 7th of June 1959. My wife's name is Stella. Her name was Stella Kokaris. They were they were living in Thangu, Biluila. That's they had a farm there. Her father, her mother, her sister, and her uncle dairy farm and cotton and all this other stuff. Six months after I, uh, I got married, my first child, Florence, Florica, took after my mother's name, was born, 1960. The other children, 1963 and 1964. That's uh, Kat Katarina, Catherine and Dimitria. F.A. Pigeon was the firm that I used to work in the city with the high-rise buildings. After the carpentry, after the carpentry I, uh, well, I had a bit of an accident with, at, at work at carpentry. I had problems with, with my neck. So I, I uh, decided to go into something else and I went into real estate uh, as a salesman. The first two years I worked with Michael Linus as real estate. And then I went into Stanfast Real Estate. I stayed there for 10 years or so. Then I went into, I went with another Greek at um, George Lakers out at Maruka. I worked for him for another, another 10, 15 years or so. When he, he passed away, I, I went into another Real Estate, uh, Matthews Real Estate, Matthews Real Estate and Sons over in Annerley. They were Australian mob. They're very good people. Yes, and I stayed there until I retired back in 19, 1998, I think, 1998. We come to Pronia here, we go for outings. Very good, very good. We're singing and going on. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, I come to Earth, but once a week we come here. Once a week, every two days. But then I come uh, on Wednesdays for exercises. We do exercises. I take care of um, uh, at the church. I'm here, there, every time there's church. I'm in the front, front uh, desk in charge of the uh, the kiria and the money and all this sort of thing. I, Whatever they they want to give to the priest, or take it there, all these sorts of jobs. Yeah, well, I bought my house back in 1960, maybe three thousand. That was uh, dollars then. It was, I can't remember. But then uh, now it's worth two million dollars. <laughs> There's a big difference. I did a lot of work to, in, into my house. Uh, you know, I, I raised it, I uh, skid on, I, I, I nearly made it a new new house. It was a closed in veranda, I opened it up, made it into a patio. Inside, everything, everything was new. I, I live still in West End, Vulture Street. Vulture Street, number 15 Vulture Street. Yes, near the, um, the Cypress house, just very good. Oh, well. Life now is, <laughs> as we say, we, we come to Pranya, we, we, uh, we enjoy ourselves once or twice a week, go to my church, look, go to my children, they've grown up, I'm, I'm uh, 
a grandfather, my great grandfather now, twice a great grandfather. I enjoy it. I've got um, this, uh, six, seven, seven grandchildren and two great grandchildren at the moment. Oh yeah, the fire. Well, uh, the people from the uh, fire uh, came next door, two doors down from my place. And I went there just to have a look what what's going on. And I was standing there in the veranda of their, their veranda and they were taking, uh, you know, the film and all that. And a lady approached me, she says, do you want to take part in this? I says, I don't know, if you want, if you want me. He says, yes, come down. They gave me a new sh another shirt to put on and all this sort of thing. He, they had somebody else to, to do the, uh, the, the part, but maybe I was more suited to it. So <laughs> I went, and then the first, it took me on. Took me on and, well, the guy Straight away, I didn't have to repeat the things he says. You're doing all right. He says, you know, I didn't, it wasn't a speaking part. It was an expression, expression part sort of thing. He's coming. He's coming. It was, it was about my son was supposed to be. He was coming in with, a, with his girlfriend and playing around with it, and, and I'm supposed to be worried, you know, I'm showing, <laughs> showing that I'm upset about him, sort of thing. <laughs> and it was, it was up that until they cut it. Uh, they had a, as my wife, was another, another Greek or Italian lady. They were supposed to be my wife, they were sitting next to me, sort of thing. But uh, yeah, it, was, it was very funny. This is the thing that gave me a form to fill in. I'm still waiting for the <laughs> I didn't fill out, but they said they were going to pay me, but ah, uh, well, I didn't bother about it. Why, it might be, it would be 10, 15 years ago, maybe, you know. Hello. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful.